I'm less worried about these streets and I'm more worried about these pants that you guys are wearing in this video. What a throwback, James. Yeah. Flip, six years since that song came out, now fourth album's out, but two years since you guys have been on the couch all together as a group one more time. Good to have you back in the loft. Yeah, yeah. thanks for having us. It's man. been a minute. Let's catch up with you two. We haven't spoken to you guys in literally two years. How's it going, mate? Yo, things are going great, man. Mm -hmm. And we're actually excited for the Familia album. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's dropped already and people are excited and it's doing so well. Awesome. And you personally, yeah. I mean, you're Instagramming lots of videos of children and stuff. Yes. How's yes, life? Yes, yes. No, life is good, man. Life is good, you know. We're blessed. Okay. We're blessed, man. Dr. Blessed. Duda, how are you doing? Yeah, man, I was just wanted to say that was not me. That <laughs> was a body double. Was someone else. Yeah. <laughs> what, are you, what are you most embarrassed by by that? Come on, man. Yo, man, those brown pants. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. Jay on the bootlegs. Nice. Yeah. You know, Duda, <laughs> before we went into this interview, that like, honestly, it's your first music video ever. Like, you guys Ooh, have to do what you got to do, man, to bring the video yeah, together. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but Duda was better, man, you know. But I wasn't better. As for me, yo, no, you know, no. I just steal my brother's clothes to get this yeah. video right, you know what I mean? Jay, that haircut as well, Yo, anyway, boy. my friend. Yo, anyway. Uh, it has been a journey. Uh -huh. Now, six yeah. years later, the official new album is out, Familia. Everyone's very excited about it, but this is an interesting one for you guys because it got so much more meaning and depth to it. Uh, talk yeah. us through the stages of producing this album. Yo, yeah, it's not just another album, you know. I mm. think that's the, the, the main point. But the, the process behind making this was kind of simpler than all the other ones because, uh, you know, the other ones we were traveling and we were everywhere, especially the third album. This album mm. was, was done in between mine and Duda's house mm. oh, in wow. the two studios. So, uh, in, you know, amidst the, the traveling and the touring, yeah. when we were home, we made the music. Mm. It's interesting yeah. because obviously you guys <coughs> tour a lot together, you guys are performing a lot together. In terms of the commercial scene, you guys are doing incredibly well. I think a lot of artists who are kind of making their way through the industry now are looking to you guys to figure out this model and understand why it is that you guys have made such a success for yourselves locally uh, in Africa and then across the world. You guys have just got a sound that I think people are really attracted to. And obviously coming up with new albums must put a lot of pressure on you guys in terms of how do we take this to the next level? How do we improve? How do we grow? Was this one of those albums or was this one that was uh, you know not about how to grow and how to be better but how do we tell a story now you know every artist has the same problem on on what to release next after yeah. we've just released a hit so in mind you think you can do another these streets you can do another heavenly saint but now it's not but what you have to do is to just just challenge yourself mm. you know mm. go back to where you started you know take everything down and then fix that in there and try and come up with a new thing because we can never we, we can never make another these streets or having yeah. descent and stuff so that's the challenge always um, mm. one has when it comes to pro mm. like producing music but to us I think this one it was simple because the past three albums we were trying to you know trying to copy the old album and say no let's we need, we need to make another mm -hmm. you know dance heavenly it, yeah. and dance mm -hmm. it and stuff there's that then, pressure you know that's that pressure yeah. so we were pressurized and then we ended up you know collecting everything whether it's right or wrong and then putting it together and then people who were like fans were like now confused are these guys wanna go to the east african sound mm -hmm. or you know so what we did with this latest album everyone says now this is the Mikasa yeah, that we know. That we know. Yeah. The personal, kind of really relatable yeah. scene. Of course, Let's talk yeah. a bit about that because I mean, you guys are always posting stuff online, you're always very joyful, happy people, but I know the personal story behind producing Familia was one of, one of I think, quite a lot of turmoil for all of you guys as individuals, understanding with such a huge brand like Mikasa as a whole and the individual entities that make up that, it didn't, it caused stuff between the two, well, between all three of you guys to, you know, start to discuss who am I and, and who am I to the team, who's more important, mm. who's not more important, and um, mm. talk us through that journey. I wanna, really wanna know the personal side behind uh, why this is such a personal album for you guys? Yeah, I think, you know, being in a band is like a dynamic that it's very hard to explain, you know. Mm. Duda often says it, you know, we're three different oaks from three different parts of the world. And I think also what makes it even more interesting and difficult is that we literally met on a stage. Yeah. It's not like we grew up together, we didn't like go to school together, we didn't know each other, we literally met on a stage. And and the past five and a half years have been, it's been quite a romantic story to be honest. Like we've just been happily in love, making music, doing our thing and just being happy, you know? And I think we reached a point where, you know, we always used to say, yeah, we're good at talking, you know, we talk amongst, but it was, it was rubbish. Like we weren't good at talking. <laughs> Communicating, yeah. maybe you're talking, but maybe not communicating. Yeah, exactly. exactly. We were yeah. like, oh, that was a wild show, man. Yeah. And it's like, oh, cool, and man, let's boom, make music. Yeah, but listen, buddy, why did you do that? I yeah, mean, exactly. Like, oh, yeah. So we had like internal issues that kind of mounted up over the years. And it's not nothing dramatic, it's just like, yo, Jay, why don't you come to rehearsals? Like, mm. you really need to rehearse. And I'm like, well, Jay, you're too busy cooking, dog. Like, what's going on? Are we making music or are we cooking? You know, and then it's like, 
yo, why don't you come to uh, to interviews? Like, we need you at the interviews. Oh, I don't really like interviews. Well, it's a band, you know, like we gotta be there. And mm -hmm. it was just like speaking to one another face to face to say, yo, dude, yeah. I don't like this about you and we need to fix this or we need to part ways. And we decided to like fight for it because, sure. you know, we love what we do, man. Yeah. It's not about yeah. the money, it's not about the hype, it's about, because a lot of people don't realize that when you're in a band, you may charge X amount, but you, you split Splitting that by that, three, yeah. you pay mm. other people, it's not, you're, you're not a solo act. Mm. So it's not because of money, this thing. It's, uh, you know, there's more money if Duda was like a, a famous DJ on his own, charging mm. what we charge, you know, and earning that on his own. So mm. this album was not because the label said we need to do another album or because there isn't enough music of ours out yeah. there. Yeah. It was because we wanted to document yeah. this moment. Was mm. there really a point where you guys were considering the split? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Six yes. about six and a half months ago. Yeah, six yeah. and a half. We yeah, actually got together months. to split up. We actually met up to to say, yo man, maybe this is, how do we divide maybe this, this is over? How do we, yeah, yeah. They, it was just a weird thing, you know. We hadn't done anything to one another like bad. Yeah. We just mm -hmm. reached a point where I think we needed like to hit a refresh button. Mm. And it's funny because when we got together to actually tune one another. All that happened was just like, yo, man. It all turned around. We love, we love one other, another. Yeah. Like, and we, as cheesy as it sounds, like, I, I fear that, like, in today's society, like, the cheesy messages are becoming just termed as cheesy because they, they're true, you know? But it's. Make it's, us feel uncomfortable. So let's yeah, put the cheesiest out there. Yeah. It's a true story. And that's why we call the album Familia, you know, because I come from a broken home and, like, Fa the, one of the first things we heard as a band was all bands break up. Mm. You guys know you're going to break up one day, right? Mm -hmm. And we were like, no, man. We no, don't we're going to make this work. That. Yeah, so yeah. we fought. For it. So Familia's got a whole bunch of tracks in it, obviously, that, that speak into that <laughs> message, speak into that reconciliation, speak into yes. what it means to love and to, to forgive. Nana is obviously one of the songs you're going to be performing on the show today, and that's also a song about forgiveness. And personally for you, like Moti and Dr. Dudo, like, what does it mean to you guys, songs like this? And do you have a personal favorite on the album? Well, I think a song like Nana is a song that is um, so important to have on the album because, mm. I mean, um, as Jay and Dudo said, that we had so much challenges, you know? So, and Jay always says that, uh, he wrote that song for myself and Duda, but I feel that we all had to play that role of saying, guys, actually, more like you have to forgive yourself first, mm -hmm. you know, for what happened, and then actually forgive all Jay and yeah, Duda, you know. Yeah. So it's a song for all of us in the group. And um, yeah, it just speaks to us just saying that, guys, like, listen, if there's any challenges or anything, just fix it. Like, just, mm. you know, there's always a way out of it, you know. Mm. And I'm so glad that we've got something called music that's mm. got the power just to get to so many people. It's not only also for us as Mikasa, mm. Mm. but that song has touched a lot of people out there also that have not been aware that they've smashed so many relationships in the world, yeah. like in the past, where they didn't get back to them to go fix things, you know? Yeah. So um, this can be for friends, for girlfriend, boyfriend, for mm. husband and wife, it can be for anyone, man. And Preach it's a powerful it. song. No it's, uh, no, it's a really powerful <laughs> song, man. You, you can fake a tear, you can drop no, down, no, 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 no. that'll be a good time for you to drop down your heart. <laughs> Do you have a personal favorite song on the album that really speaks to you? That's, um, that's your song on this album that you feel like, yeah, this is a message I need to learn for myself. I always um, not answer that question, man, because I produce mm. these songs, man. Yeah, so it's also integral for to you. To choose it's something else. Okay. You know. Right. But my favorite, it's Nana. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> and it's doing so well. <laughs> Guys, so yes. we, must get, uh, we must get going. But I just want to say congratulations on the album. Everyone's been loving it. Your Thanks, European man. tour looked amazing across oh, platforms. It's wild, man. What an epic experience it's so for all so of you. Much, Good Thank luck you. with the rest of the album. I hope everyone continues to enjoy the singles you guys release. And we're looking forward to the performance of Nana later on in the show. Can't yes. wait, man. As and listen, you guys. Oh, what, what, what? As Mo said, if you have problems at home. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't Nana's fake it here, but listen man. to the song. It's for yeah, you. No, just buy the CD and then Nana's <laughs> Nana Nana speak to you. Let Nana <laughs> exactly. do the talking, man. Not only is this individual song for you guys at home, you guys can have a look at uh, obviously that performance later, but they're also going to be doing an unplugged version of the song exclusively for all of you at home right now. Tune into SABC3. So stay tuned for that. More from Mikasa after these.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, did you know that between 80 and 90% of women may experience cellulite at some point in their lives? That's a lot of women. That's all of us. Whilst the appearance of cellulite has no medical implications, it can take an emotional toll on your self-confidence and self-esteem. This week, Dr. Anushka Reddy showcases the world's most advanced system for body shaping and how this can change the way you feel about yourself and your jiggly bits. Cellulite is caused by fat deposits that push and distort the connective tissues beneath skin, which leads to the characteristic orange peel appearance of the skin. Cellulite commonly occurs on the buttocks and thighs and mostly affects women. Since cellulite is considered a cosmetic problem, aesthetic physicians like Dr. Anushka Reddy offer treatments such as body contouring, which may reduce the appearance of cellulite. This treatment is ideal for those who desire aesthetic improvement, without the cost of time of surgery, as it is a non-invasive treatment that can easily be done during your lunch break. Please jump into the scale. Let's get your weight. My advice, first and foremost, for patients who are seeking these treatments is to ensure they have a normal body mass index. That means for their height, they need to be within a certain weight range. If you are over your uh, BMI, these treatments are definitely not on the table for you. Come take a seat over here. I'm Cindy Madden. I'm a working mom of one daughter. I'm 44 years old and I love mountain biking and walking. But I don't feel that I get the results around my thighs and tummy and that's why I'm here for the treatment. Today I am going to be seeing Cindy, a working mother. I think her biggest challenge is the cellulite at the back of her thighs as well as those saddle bags that we all dread. So hopefully at the end of her sessions we'll be able to contour her body and smooth out the cellulite. It's important for me because I feel like I could slim down around my waist and my thighs a little bit more. When you've been a mum and getting a little older in age, you struggle to slim down. My advice is to ensure that you have a good, healthy diet. Have lots of leafy greens. Uh, drink plenty of water, at least two liters of water a day. Uh, it just flushes out the toxins from your system. And very important is maintain a gym routine. I think that's, for me, always a good starting point before I even consider offering these treatments to patients. What we plan to do on you today, it's a variety of treatments that we are going to call Body Beautiful by BTL. So these are non-surgical procedures that can easily be done within two hours of your time. Great. I'm going to hand you over to my good assistant, Lushka. She'll be doing the treatment for you today and I'll check up on you in a few minutes. Good. It is a multi-modality treatment and I'm very excited that these devices are FDA approved. And it's such a painless procedure. I'm not feeling nervous, actually very excited to see the results. Uh, the first machine, we're going to use an applicator over your tummy area. I know you've struggled with that for a while. So the first treatment is called a vanquish, and that's what it does. It vanquishes fat. Uh, it heats up the fat layer to about 43 degrees, and it actually causes apoptosis, which is just a fancy medical term for cell death. It causes the fat cells to rupture. Trust me, it's not going to be uncomfortable. Uh, it's just going to be a gentle heating of the skin. And between six to eight treatments is what I suggest Cindy would uh, have. Then we're going to flip you over and then we're going to use the applicator on your legs. I know that you have mentioned a cellulite and the saddlebags that you would also like treated. So we're going to be using two other BTL devices to treat this. I've always maintained you get the best results of in body contouring if you combine treatments. So I was very excited actually to add the second one which is called uh, BTL X-Wave and this actually uses sound technology to destroy the cellulite nodules. We've done it mainly at the back of the thighs and it heats the skin up to about 43 degrees. Uh, it sounds uncomfortable and painful, but trust me, it's not. And what it would eventually do, it stimulates collagen as well. And once again, we bring Cindy back for six to eight treatments, and I think she's going to be very happy with that addition. The final treatment that I will be adding on is the BTL Exilis Elite. And this contributes to the smoothing out of the cellulite, as well as uh, reducing the fat cells. 
Women and men of all ages can certainly have these treatments done. There are a few contraindications. Pregnancy would certainly be my number one contraindication. And of course, if you have any metal implants in your body. So pacemakers, certainly I wouldn't suggest radiofrequency uh, treatments in such patients. And of course, a nice add-on would be a cellulite uh, smoothing cream. The one that's available in South Africa is called Body Crackle. And it works quite well after having any of these BTL treatments done. Great, Cindy. So we're all done. How was that? It was wonderful. Not painful? Not at all. You notice it just heated up the skin to a bit warm, but not uncomfortable. And what you're going to notice now is that you may feel a bit thirsty, so definitely increase your water intake, increase your exercise, improve your lymphatics, and we'll see you in a bit. Oh, wonderful. Go well. Wow, that was such a significant difference. I'd love to try that myself. Dr. Anushka Reddy will be joining us in studio on the 14th of September as she works her magic on some of us in studio. Make sure to tune in. You don't want to miss it. Follow Dr. Anushka Reddy on Instagram for the latest updates in aesthetics treatments. After the break, we head to the kitchen where we make a healthy version of a chocolate pudding. Stay right there. Introducing Clover Care, the first enriched milk packed with nutrients to help you take extra care of your whole family. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to South Africa's favorite kitchen, mine as well. Now, we all like the pleasure of eating something delicious, but few of us want to deal with the unhealthy consequences of it. Well, now, you don't have to. That's right, because Chef Amara has used Clover Care milk with all its added nutrients and vitamins to develop a chocolate pudding that is not only delicious, but also packs a healthy punch. Yes, You're always sure. coming with the healthy stuff, <laughs> huh? Well, you know, okay, I'm What are you disguising healthy, as what today? Because so. nothing is ever <laughs> as it seems. <laughs> well, I've got, a lot, I've got lots of healthy stuff for you so that you can have an awesome, sort of delightful, no guilt Okay, dessert, you know. Okay. So we got awesome ingredients. Firstly, we have some chia seeds. I love chia seeds. Did you know that in Mexico, they would use chia seeds as, as a currency? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's like a super food. It's really, really healthy. Yeah. It's really wholesome. And I, so I have an, an amount like this daily. Is it? Yeah. What do you have it in? 
In water. I soak it in water overnight and, drink it. and then I drink it every morning, yeah. And I suppose you do it for anti-aging? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> do everything for anti-aging. <laughs> so it's really good for anti-aging. It's anti -aging. Also just healthy. It's really good. It's a superfood, anti-aging. And also, it actually has the effect to reverse diabetes. Really? Yeah, so you, if you're a person that has diabetes, suffering diabetes, or a person that just likes sugar, it's really good to have a tablespoon of that a day. That's awesome. So that's really cool. That's good to know. Then we got some steel cut oats. So I'm not using rolled oats, and you can see they look... What kind of oats is that? They're called steel cuts. Steel cuts. Steel Why? cut oats. So the difference between steel cut and rolled oats, it sort of goes through different processes. Okay. So rolled oats, what happens is they roll it, they steam it, Sorry, they steam it, they roll it, and then they steam it again, and then they toast it. So you get this flat bits of oats. Oh. Whereas with this, they take the whole oat and they just chop it up. So oh, it, it's okay. the same that makes thing, sense. That makes it's sense. just different processes. Okay. And this is slightly healthier simply because, because it's pieces, it slowly, slowly, slowly releases Slow releasing, yeah. the energy into your body. So instead of you getting like a super peak when you eat it, it slowly releases the energy. Throughout so the day. here we go. Nice, so it's a good nice. sort of glycemic index. Now we got some low sugar cocoa. Mm -hmm. And all we want to do is mix it up with our awesome Clover Care milk. Awesome. Clover Care, as you know, very rich in vitamins. It yeah. has more than 10 different vitamins. And we just want to throw enough of clover just to get it into a kind of a paste. Okay. So really, really good for you, good for your family. It is actually endorsed by the, Nat the National Osteoporosis Foundation. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's really, really good. It has calcium, of course, but it's the only milk that has vitamin D inside of it. So it actually helps the bone. Vitamin the D helps the, mm -hmm. the uh, vitamin D helps the calcium actually absorb into your bones. Into your bones. Oh, okay, yeah. awesome. So awesome. it's really, really good for you. Okay, now the keyword for this recipe is Clover. SMS the keyword to 33650. There you'll get the link to the recipe and the full list of ingredients. There we go. Okay. So what we want to do is get it into a nice sort of paste. And this is really cool because what you can do with this is you can, we can rack it in a jar, put it in the fridge and have it set overnight. So the next morning, if you like wake up late or whatever, yeah. you just take it out to the fridge and off you go. A does, the, does the oats absorb all the liquid? Yes, it does. Oh. And if you put it in the fr fridge, it actually sets. So it gets yeah. thicker. Okay. So you can have it in different consistencies. So if you and want it's it, healthy enough to just have for breakfast, right? Yes, exactly. I can fool my kids into thinking <laughs> I'm giving them chocolate for breakfast. <laughs> exactly. It's like a, it's, you can really use it. It's so different. You can have it for like variety of things. You yeah. can take it to work, you can have it as a snack, you can serve it as a healthy dessert. So it's really, really cool. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to add it into my jars over here. Yeah. And like I say, if it's in the jar, it's simple to use and all you got to do is just grab it in the morning or grab it in the afternoon. You can whack it into your work fridge okay. and just keep it there, you know? Okay. So there but there's we go. No, the, what brings the sweetness to this so far? The sweetness. Is there any sweetness in it? Well, the combination of ingredients, there is sweetness in it. It's just not like a super not sweet, a super sweet okay. dessert, you know? Okay. But you still get that chocolatey vibe. And what is a dessert without chocolate, you know? Absolutely. So there is some sweetness to it. It's just not like a sweet, full sort of okay. muffin or okay. a sweet dessert. Okay. So what we want to do is whack our granola over here, some low carb granola. Yeah. And some toasted coconut. And, and then that's it. Uncle. Voila! Now, Simple, if you, easy. Yeah. If healthy. you just want to quickly remember everything that we put in this dish, take a look at this recap. Introducing Clover Care, the first enriched milk packed with nutrients to help you take extra care of your whole family. Made with love by Clover. 
Now, you know, we love it when you interact with us on social media. Send us your comments and tell us what you think about the recipe and everything we're cooking. And uh, if you take a look at our Facebook page, um, we've put up a poll there and we've asked you if you had an aesthetic problem that could be improved or cured by medical procedures, would you do it? And 65% uh, of you said yes, anything to help. And 16% of you said no, surgery scares me. And 19% of you said I'm not sure. Wow, thank you so much for all your uh, responses and getting involved. Now, after the break, we turn our attention to fashion with spring fast approaching. We chat to fashion guru Alexis Chaffee May about how to incorporate a flirty skirt into your capsule wardrobe. Welcome back. Lovely to have you with us. Now, next up, we have a fashion expert joining Jeannie on the couch to discuss the flirty skirt. It's that time of the week, and we are back with more fabulous fashion. And today, we shine the light on the flirty skirt. We have fashion expert Alexis Chaffee May in the loft with us as we discuss skirts and why it's important to add them to our capsule wardrobe. Welcome. Great to be here. I always love having you on my couch. So let's discuss the skirt. Why is it an important element to add into your capsule wardrobe? Well, the capsule wa wardrobe is just that. It's a collection of your real must-haves and you can mix and match various ways to give you tons of versatile looks all through the seasons. So naturally, the skirt is a very important part of that collection. And pretty much like the trouser, it can completely reinvent maybe a more masculine top or maybe a boxy jacket and just add a little bit of femininity to your look, even in winter if you want to layer it up. Yeah, I love a skirt. I must be honest. I wear skirts in winter, I wear skirts in summer. But... How do you know when a skirt is either trendy or when it's going to fit your body type? Like what skirt to go for? I think, you know, thinking about what skirts you need to have in your wardrobe, I think, you know, it's terrible to generalize, but I think you should go with a shorter and a longer skirt. And how short yeah. or how long you want to go is completely individual to you because I think that skirt styles are quite personable. But I think it has to depend on your style. So if you've got a very bohemian sense of style, then maybe you're going to go for a really long boho skirt. But if you're into more structured pieces, then let's go with something that's a little bit more fitted with maybe a slit. And then your shorter styles, you can get your A-line silhouette, which is just slightly flared, of course, your mini skirt, and even into your pencil skirts, which you can wear just depending on your body shape. Yeah, even a skirt with the, <laughs> the shorts and looks Best like of both. <laughs> I love those. Are they still in fashion? What skirts are still in fashion at the moment? Like, what, is, what are we seeing? What are the latest wow. trends? Wow. Well, I mean, <laughs> what aren't the trends these days? <laughs> I think, like, the world is now a melting pot of all these global trends, but we're seeing a variety of, you know, different, you know, lengths of, of skirts. And I think that, you know, coming back to 
you know, what looks good on you, you know? Mm. So don't just wear a trend blindly because you saw it in a magazine. Yeah. Um, and there's a couple little tricks that you can have to kind of deceive the eye into making you look better without even having to go to the gym. So when <laughs> we talk about dressing, you know, for our body type, it's all about deceiving the eye to pay attention to the part of your body that you want someone to look at and then kind of detracting from the area that you don't. Ooh. So for example, if you're more petite, you're gonna go for maybe a knee length skirt with like a vertical slit, which is gonna make your legs look longer. Yeah. You're gonna have the illusion of height. Whereas if you were to wear a long skirt all the way to the floor, the eye's gonna be dragged down. A lot of women with really beautiful, curvaceous bodies, they make the mistake of trying to cover up their body with a flared skirt. But all that does <laughs> is actually add to your silhouette. Yeah. So instead, you should actually take a page out of Kim Kardashian's book and rather go for a high-waisted, really sucking in pencil silhouette, which is really gonna work yeah. the curves to the advantage. And yeah. of course, your tall girls, I mean, what can't they wear? But they can <laughs> certainly wear more fl uh, flirty, flared silhouettes without it ever weighing them down. Yeah. So something a little bit of a kick, a little bit of swing, they can easily get away with. I love. Now let's discuss the pleated skirt, because yes. I can see today we're matchy-matchy. We're twinsies. <laughs> yeah. So the pleated skirt is definitely one of those boomerang trends that just keeps coming around season after season. And I think designers are really loving it because it is so versatile, depending, you know, purely how you style it. And we've seen these skirts available in a variety of fabrics as well, from summer to winter. But what I love about it is that it literally can go from winter with maybe boots and like a chunky sweater, to the office with like a white collared shirt and then into summer with maybe a crop blouse, a tank top, you know, um, tucked in. And I even love, you know, playing with the very the femininity of the pleated skirt, the prettiness and, you know, wearing it with like a really grungy like slogan tee, maybe mm. a pair of sneakers because everything looks good with the season's white sneaker. So you kind of like, you know, playing with the femininity with a little bit of grunge as well. I love that. Thank you so much for chatting to us. Always a pleasure. As you were talking, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to wear that skirt and that grungy t-shirt with that skirt and oh thank you i'm inspired <laughs> once again love having you here thanks Lex. always a pleasure now fashion has always been a repetition of ideas but what makes it new is the way you put it together let's take a look at how siemens keep our garments looking newer for longer Siemens is constantly exceeding their customers' expectations, but now they've got the sophisticated machine that'll make washing day easier. Siemens is the leader in technology when it comes to washing, and we're always looking for ways to make washing days easier for our customers. This machine is equipped with the intelligent dosing system that we refer to as IDOS. What exactly does IDOS mean? IDOS means that this machine is equipped with an intelligent dosing system. It has a reservoir that you can pour 1.3 liters of skip auto detergent into. It will automatically detect the level of soilness as well as the textiles and give you the perfect results. So what program would I use if I was washing, say, a pleated skirt, for example? We recommend using our Quick Wash. It will wash your skirt quickly, as well as with a lot less mechanical action, preserving the beautiful pleats in your skirt. And what detergent would you recommend? Siemens recommends using Skip Auto Detergent. This will give you the best wash in our machines, as well as retaining the color, as well as the beautiful shape of your pleated skirt. Skip Auto is specially designed to take care of the things we love the most. Not only keeping your garments clean, but also looking after the fibers and fabric, leaving garments looking like new for longer. People will stare, so make it worth their while. Skip and Siemens encourage you to add a touch of brilliance to your home and to keep your clothes in a fabulous condition. Make sure to tune in next time for more high-end fashion gossip. Skip loves your clothes as much as you do. Be sure not to forget to enter our Winner Home Buy Weekly competition, where this time around you could win a grower smart control rain shower system valued at more than 10,000 Rand. Head over to privateproperty.co.za, click on the Winner Home logo and vote for your favorite design duo. Remember that this also automatically enters you into the draw where you stand a chance of winning the biggest prize on South African television, a brand new home valued at more than 3 million Rand. Watch Win a Home on Afternoon Express and follow three talented design duos as they transform three empty houses into fully decorated luxury homes. 
one of which you could win. We promised you double the design with our design duos. We promised you double the drama. And the last two challenges have been just that. It's now time to promise you double the trouble as we head into a double-header challenge, the guest and the master bathroom. Mirror, mirror on our wall, make this team disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Don't miss Winner Home Fridays at 4 p.m. on Afternoon Express. The stage is yours. A key highlight on the calendar of events commemorating Women's Month is the Standard Bank Top Women Awards. These annual awards acknowledge the incredible contributions of women at the highest levels of organizations across all sectors and aims to ignite the ambition of Africa's women to pursue their goals. It's important for us to have platforms like the Top Women Awards to recognize amazing female entrepreneurs as well as women leaders in business so we can replicate those winnings as well as their case studies and change the narrative. The direction we want to see corporates take is to make real efforts to change the diversity in the workplace, to bring more women on board, and by empowering women and bringing women into the boardrooms, into senior positions, you not only empower the organization, but women empower communities, they empower more people around them, and they bring with them purpose-driven motives, so it adds a flavor to an organization that doesn't exist right now. In a society where women are primarily in the majority, it, it would not make sense for any organization not to look into that majority and extract the skills, the talent within that majority, because I think they will see much more progress, they will see much more nurturing, they will see much empowerment of, of the young people as well and other women. If you do not make a deliberate effort to make sure that 50% or more than 50% of your talent is women, it means you are missing out. You are ignoring 50% of uh, the expertise that you could be having. By bringing women in, you're bringing in different perspectives, you're bringing in different views, you know, so that all adds to the richness of leadership. To make it sustainable also, I think we have to really start with the young people and bring our youth in and then grow them. When you have women empowered as in being able to earn an income, a good income, it, it trickles down back to the family. And if the family is good, the family is well taken care of, the community uh, benefits and the society at large benefits. Work is a reflection of our society, so if we can get it right at work, then we take it back home. On the 17th of August, the 14th Annual Top Women Awards honoured outstanding women leaders in both the private and public sectors who inspire and empower those around them. I think it is very important to have functions like this because I think behind the scenes there's so much hard work that goes into a business and I think any person on this earth wants to feel acknowledged and events like these are exactly what that is. It's just acknowledgement of your hard work, your effort, your dedication that you put into a business or in, into a project that, you, that you're busy with. All entries for the awards are evaluated against a strict criteria of gender empowerment and performance and women are then selected as winners in 26 diverse categories. I think this is a very great initiative. It encourages women to do better and it also gives hope to those who are actually working hard and never get recognition. And you know, it, when you win, at least somebody's noticing your work. All in all, it's about promoting women and supporting women and their strives in terms of making it in the country. And when you get here, you find so many women supporting each other, having programs that are supporting other women. It just makes you to feel being so fortunate being born in South Africa and getting recognition for the developments that I'm doing. It's extremely wonderful. Tonight was a confirmation of one of my biggest strategies in terms of empowering women, where I continue to say that we as women should strive to continuously lift others whilst we climb. And today was a confirmation of that because I saw myself being recognized for the work that I've done. And it makes me to continue to recognize others for the work that they are doing. So wonderful, so great. 
the recipient of this year's Lifetime Achievement Award was the Princess of Africa herself, Yvonne Chaka Chaka, a legend for her music as well as humanitarian work. I'm actually very grateful to Topco and uh, to Standard Bank for finding it fit to give me this Lifetime Award. I'm grateful to all my fans and everybody who's stood by me. I'm very humbled and I will always have my feet firm on the ground and God will just lift me up in the work that I do. Women have been disenfranchised, segregated and just being put in the kitchen and that's not where they belong. Women belong in a boardroom because once they are there, they do all these good work. So I'm very grateful that awards like this are there. We need more because you've seen tonight, it was great women and very inspirational. These are women that I look up to as well. And I think, you know, women open doors and women do good work. These awards want to advance the success of women and share the vision of South Africa's She Economy, a new economy thriving on full inclusivity and empowerment for women. It's so heartwarming to see women being celebrated in this way in South Africa. They make us really proud and it's a great time for women in South Africa, in fact in the world. Thank you so much for commenting on our Facebook page. Earlier on we asked you the question, if there was a medical procedure that you would do to change the way you look in any shape or form, what would it be? And uh, Chandra Engelbrecht said that if there was something very wrong with my appearance, and I don't mean your average insecurity type of thing, I'd definitely have it surgically corrected. Shahida Lufa said says, yes, for sure, as we have the best doctors in the world. I had laser implant surgery, so I never have to put contact lenses on in the morning. That's great. They've really improved my vision and no more red eyes ever again. And Sisu Sathumelom Teto says, yes, I would try everything. I have acne and it's a big skin problem for many people. And skin problems do affect your self-esteem and it's more emotional to some of us. Well, I hope you get a solution to that, Sisusa. But coming after the break, Mikasa performed their latest single right here on Afternoon Express. We'll be right back. Don't go away.
Well, welcome back to Afternoon Express on this Thursday afternoon on SABC3. Mikasa are with us. The brand new album, Familia, is out. Go and get it and go and support these guys. They're doing incredible work. It's time for us to get into the exclusive performance of Nana, <coughs> just for you. Let go. All right. That's on the
would you please forgive me? Oh, oh na na, na na, would you please forgive me? Oh, oh na na, na na, would you please forgive me? Oh, oh na na, na na, won't you please forgive me? That was absolutely beautiful. I mean, if somebody asks you to forgive you like that, there's no way you can't forgive them. Make sure you catch Winner Home on Afternoon Express tomorrow at 4 p.m. Our design duos are getting briefed on their next room challenge. And from what I hear, this one promises to be double the work and double the drama. But thank you so much for joining us today. It's been lovely having you with us. And I hope you got all those skirt tips jotted down. And we'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place, for Win A Home. Happy eating. Good night. Make sure you catch Winner Home on Afternoon Express tomorrow as our design duos get tasked with their third room challenge. What will it be? Tune in tomorrow at 4pm on SABC3 to find out. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Afternoon Express, made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.